Okay. Are you ready? She's she's a she's a like a fucking game show host <laughs> now. That's Ta -da. like Swanky Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swanky yeah. Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Swinky Kong takes you on an emotional field trip. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Funky Kong. Hey, I hope cool. you had a pretty bodacious <laughs> time on that plane ride. <laughs> I can't wait to hear all about it. I bet you're excited to get home and get some uh, a full night's rest. <laughs> Just take a seat on my motorcycle. <laughs> you can ride on the back or in the front. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh god, the fu I was not ready for Funky Kong ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ready for that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. That's the I fucking love Funky Kong ASMR. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oil off the tray to reveal a dozen oil fluffy cupcakes, which are probably actually just rice balls decorated. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably our rice balls that have been uh, Americanized. <laughs> cupcakes we don't understand rice balls we just don't get it there's no way for us to get it yeah like rice isn't even food as yeah. far as i know as an american yeah it's just like that stuff that i like put like all over my toes so people can like watch me online yeah or like i'll, I'll i spread like i sprinkle it on my driveway when it gets icy but like... yeah right it, it soaks up all the snow yeah yeah Shinji's got a friend and her name is Rei. When she's not fighting aliens, she's taking, taking a, a nap. nap. <laughs> she's taking a nap. <laughs> Without Asuka from Germany, everybody would be lost. Her country is responsible for the holographic map. Uh, <laughs> the whiskers are drawn. <laughs> I, That's another good one. Look up the, the poor holographic. kid's uh, Evangelion opening. Oh, Some high man. quality shit. Wasn't there like a, <laughs> there was another poor kids thing that was like a show? <laughs> poor kid. Was it a uh, bully la bully? Yeah, it was a kill a kill one. Yeah, the bully la bully. <laughs> um, so yeah, they they decorated the, the things so and they look cool. Sugoi. I have yeah, no idea it's... you're so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> Well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one. Then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. It's delicious. Sarah talks with her mouthful, and Ari's managed to eat the icing off her on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle. I need to know which angel to use. Yeah. Which <laughs> angel do I attack this cupcake <coughs> with? Natsuki is quiet. You, use, a, use a solar. That's okay, the best that's, angel. That's probably the best one to use a solar. <coughs> I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Ba -ba -ba I haven't, ba -ba. haven't oh. I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Call him a baka, though. He, it's not complete. It's not complete. I thought you called him an idiot. I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. <clears throat> not for... You, you know, you dummy. Yeah, but... Well, I, all right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Sweet here. <laughs> Places a teacup in front of us. I hope I can turn my teeth into a jellyfish to avoid what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I turned my teeth into jellyfish to <laughs> suck up all the frosting. Ah, uh, it was like, it was like, why don't you enjoy the frosting I made you? He was just like, I can turn my tooth into a jellyfish and it'll absorb the frosting because that's how jellyfish. Works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they do. They turn Every, everybody water. knows that jellyfish feed on frosting in the ocean. They can just turn your pee into water. <laughs> Get the tea. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Yeah, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant to say, you know, I believe in you. Well, tea and reading might be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. 
Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. I say, Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet. Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the... President of the Literature Club, it's my Writers duty. <laughs> As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Even sloppy Steve Bannon. <laughs> he's like over there reading a book and he's just like, I, I'm only a little bit drunk. <laughs> yeah. Took a shower today. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. <laughs> I don't know, just so <laughs> looking sloppy Steve Bannon. Yeah, sloppy Steve Bannon is still getting me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's such a fucking cartoon villain. Like, <laughs> like, he fires his own fucking dude. And then, and then right after that, Cobra Commander, like, points and mocks at him <laughs> all day. He's like, wow, look who got fired. Sloppy Steve Bannon. He's yeah. like, for fuck's sake, Skeletor, you can at least wear a fig leaf for five seconds. Yeah. Holy shit. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics, eh, in the, uh, around yeah. the major clubs. It feels like sloppy Steve Bannon didn't want me to get ahead. It feels Is like she like constantly farting to like hover above the ground because I can't just kind of turning legs. away, hoping no one hears it. Because her dress is moving in a way that makes it look like she's just like fart blasting to like stay above the ground. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hovering <laughs> off the air on a like stream, a jet stream of farts. It's, it's, well, it's like organ it. music starts to play. <laughs> <laughs> She's, she has advanced fart lev technology. <laughs> <laughs> you hear like a, you hear a launch sequence when she stands up. <laughs> yeah. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. But Monica is a great, really is a great leader and, uh, Certainly, there's no room for a different one anywhere. <laughs> no one else should be leader than her. Uh, I'm biting <sighs> my fists! Yuri also nods in agreement. I also <laughs> then they kind of look at each other and give like a short nod, like, yes. <laughs> we will now. Sh the crow cries at midnight. She, she, <laughs> she, she expects nothing. <laughs> I expect nothing. The dagger, when we explained. choose to plant it, will be completely unexpected. <laughs> I really... <laughs> the Lannisters send their regards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. <laughs> it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Yeah, like standing outside shouting about how cool our club is. <laughs> and if they don't want to, like, join it, then we just yell louder. Yeah. Yeah. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Sweet. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Yeah. I'm confident that we can all grow this club before we graduate. Yeah. Right, everyone? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll do our best. You know. Everyone enthusiastically agrees as they plot the demise of the boss. We are going to destroy this our boss, and then we are going to like take out her haven. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Oh God, that reminds me of this stupid shit that this one guy posted. Hang on, I'm just gonna bring it up real quick. Just, sometimes I sit and listen to other people in my age group talk, and I'm just like, wow, my brain ideas and thoughts are so different from others. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know man. why that kills me so much. It's just such a it's fucking such a general fucking, thing. It's such a fucking, like, basic fucking bitch thing. This, it's like, yeah, everyone has different fucking I, thoughts and feelings. I never thought about it before, but I'm an individual. I Damn, thought wow. I was part of some kind of collective hive mind that we all think and feel the exact same thing and know the exact same knowledge from birth. <laughs> Wait, are you guys not? Uh, no, well, I'm not assimilated yet. I'm part of the. I'm part of it. 
Alright, I just I, I, I just wouldn't want to go to the Hive Queen and like... Yeah! Because, you know, we've, we've become really good friends. Hive, Hive Queen's really <laughs> cool! She got a new hat yesterday! <laughs> I mean, whatever she likes. Monica must have worked really hard <laughs> to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member. <laughs> this is hysteria. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking drag you away! <laughs> it's like fucking dudes and like, like from fucking, if anyone watched Hardcore Henry, like the fucking dudes. Oh yeah, in yeah. the big like diamond suits with the fucking flamethrowers. Just drag me away and then just fucking start burning me on the way there. Yeah. Like, oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> so, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga! Manga! I <laughs> gave it! <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuke's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wasn't wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I feel like Garugamesh was the peak of, like, that level of, like, anime cringe at that time. Yeah. Yeah. That was, like, that was, like, all the right things led up to that moment. Yeah, yeah. I think everything in that commercial was everything everyone was like, oh, God, not anime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <but much. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just some guy with like a soy sauce thing going. I know. Gamey! Yeah. I know, like, uh, like oh, it's no. really funny because I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, like Vic Mignana, the guy that yep. was like, he yeah. fucking like, like made that commercial. <laughs> fucking Vic McNuggets made the Garuga Mesh commercial. <laughs> That's awesome. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh! Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Oh. Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Yeah, that, that's an anxiety thing for sure. It's just <clears throat> like fidgeting with stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I do that shit all the time. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh! Uh, the Gotta fidget with my dick. I, I've been fidgeting with dick. both of your dicks this whole time yeah. just to just to give uh, my hand I've, something I've, to I've do. I've, yeah. become, I've become pretty callous to it, so yeah, feel yeah, you feel yeah. nothing anymore. I, I I shaved the calluses off, so oh, <laughs> just so just it's did. all fresh and new again. Yeah, just, I, just, I, just, I just I just want to keep the luster, you know. Did you, did you get the pen egg to help out with your dick callus? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me just pen egg my dick. <laughs> Please don't make this a Tide Pod thing and you dumb kids go out and pet egg your dicks. Please I swear to fucking don't God. do that, kids. Don't fucking really don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't pet egg your dick. And Fuck. telling a good story in such a poor is impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that you find uh, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Isn't the person who like stalled? invented the pet egg like actually used a real cheese grater on their foot for years, and then just woke up <laughs> one day in their trailer and were like, "Oh fuck, money now." Oh yeah. If I make, if I just market it. The right way, people won't know it's a goddamn cheese grater for your leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You like instantly said woke up in their trailer. Yeah, that was part of that. Because that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That person has like, <laughs> Ricky or Julie. <laughs> yeah. That is like that, that's that's mama <laughs> can make a lot of money. Grater. You like a lot of fucking money there, Julie. Your mom's foot trees grater can make us billions. <laughs> It's like, no, we make it like an egg no, or something. No, you know what I'm so saying? That ain't what that is, you know? No, I mean, yeah, yeah, nobody wants to use no damn foot trees grater. They want to use, like, <laughs> they want to use, like, an egg on their foot. Because eggs are sexy. It's a foot egg, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a foot egg. Foot, feet are sexy. Real... Eggs are sexy. Let's shave some skin off your foot with an egg. Stories with deep psychological elements usually as well. Isn't that amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of their own lack of imagination to completely throw you through a loop? Anyway, oh, that was some bear in the lead there. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of a lot of horror lately. Ah, oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. 
at this rate, uh, you're in mind as well. Half full life consequences is pretty scary. <laughs> there were dead hands. There were dead hands. We'll be having a conversation oh. with a rock. Oh. <laughs> really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I get it, game. I get it, Doki Doki Litter. <laughs> you taking a dookie dookie on my brain? <sighs> I, I, I say I get it, but I have a feeling I don't know the half of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Character's gonna flip around, upside down, turn around. Oh, why is that? Well, it's I just Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? How dare you, you call me idea? out on liking and being cute things? <laughs> that's that's the ridiculous in yeah, this dating I, sim. I'm not allowed to like the things I like. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. <gasps> it looks like you're working. <laughs> as, as Pat Soul leaves his body, <laughs> many dogs are visited by Pat Soul. <laughs> These dogs learn to speak. And say it out loud. <laughs> and give that back. <laughs> fine, fine. Uh, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh, fuck! So he sells up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Silence! Then just so whispers wench. in her ear. It's just. You like, no, she just does the fucking like the the so, the uh, that Konami press conference. <laughs> yeah, the the one guy. Yeah, it's that one guy Hill. from the fucking yeah. Silent Hill guy. Yeah. He's staring daggers in the back of her head, like <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you, <laughs> and I will stay here the whole, entire time you talk. <laughs> that Suki's up there, just like I'm really excited about the truth. Are you everybody really excited about <laughs> the truth? In my poem, I have one million true. Wow! <laughs> uh, I'm not cute. Yeah, that's okay. You're right. Your own fucking, Like just thinking about like, like well, that fucking guy so. behind the guy. That first guy was like, the best part about that is that like I just realized it now. He has to have felt that guy breathing on his neck <laughs> and yep. not done. He's even worse because he didn't do anything. He knew. He knew someone was behind him breathing on his neck. <laughs> So he knew uh, he was there. Was, I I think that guy was mad. I have a reason to believe he was. I can tell what was the fuck was happening between those two. He just stopped everything he was doing, and it was like he was gonna leave, but then he stopped. And just, it's like when the character models bug out in like a Rockstar game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looked yeah. like he had a thing he was gonna do, and the other guy cut him off, and he's just like, You son of a bitch. You <laughs> ruined my walking script, and now I'm gonna stay here and look mad for him. <laughs> Why don't you share them sometime? No. Because she does poems. It's okay if it's poems. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is willing to, is writing to oneself. Oh. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Well, then you berserk happens, so like, don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you don't want to. Sometimes it's a little bit too much. <laughs> if you're a you're in your readers. Don't take this advice. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you made Devil Man like in the fucking like seventies, also don't take this advice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, we can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot dot dot. I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. And I'll sit in silence for a moment. And, like, someone just kind of drops their bread into wine and is like, You will betray me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like Monica drops her bread into that and is like, you will betray me. <laughs> <laughs> what? I have an idea, everyone. That's who can hear look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. <laughs> the next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. 
That way everyone's you Eve. Put, <laughs> you put 10,000 anime girls on typewriters, they'll just write, quote the raven, nevermore. <laughs> and that's the only part of that poem they'll write. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. I'll work in no play, mates. Quote the raven, nevermore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll like mash up the fucking shining with like, <laughs> yeah. fucking Edgar Allan Poe's. The raven. Yeah. Plus, now we have a new member. I think it'll help us to get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right? Mm. Quoth the Raven, here's Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to see this now, actually. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty funny match, up, actually. Once again, hold on, there's still <laughs> one problem. And what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly came forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Yeah, top ten anime yeah. betrayals. Top ten right, anime now betrayals. Fucking, let's let's get a close up on everybody's eyes being all shaky. Yeah. And then just play like uh, 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 what's that fucking song? Uh, it's like an, it's one of the ones that's in every AMV, but it's like the one that's like for fights mostly. What's it go like? Ah, oh, fuck! I'm like having so much trouble for remembering it. Something something tip of my tongue. It's like. It's like, back off and take you Oh, yeah, Headstrong yeah, head by strong. Trapped. Yeah, Headstrong by Trapped plays. <laughs> yeah, as yeah, they yeah, all just yeah. stare at you <laughs> on a single... <laughs> <scene. laughs> <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is also, like, a, a lesser lesser used, like, uh, version of the... Hey, this song is for AMVs only. Yeah. Not quite as much as, like, Let the Bodies Hit or the Floor. Or anything by Linkin Park. Those two, those two things are pretty up there, but yeah, fucking. So, so, or, so I, so I break all their hearts by saying I did not choose to be in this club yet. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, lose my how train of dare you pick all another club? All four girls stare at you me with dejected eyes. To do that. But I'm sorry. I thought. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I gotta take this. You all, I'm defenseless against these girls. I have no spine, I guess. I'm very tired. Fifty years have passed, but I do not age. Fifty years have passed, but I do not age. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That's that is. If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, this is job of the hood. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh, no. One by one, the girls' eyes light up, and then like with a... with different colors, they shoot rays from their eyes. <laughs> and parts of me are transmuted into gold, parts to silver, parts to lead, and parts to stone. <laughs> but my soul was transmuted to the philosopher's stone, the only thing that could get the Elric's body parts back and their mom or something. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Definitely so something happy. about their mom. Yeah. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Um, I got it! I did it for the nookie, so you can take this cookie and <laughs> shove it up your what? Shove it up your what? Shove oh, it up no. your what? You can't say what on television. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it official. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. <laughs> Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring to the next meeting so we can all share. And he goes over at me some more. What if all these guys are super weirdos and he said, let's end this meeting on a good note and they all just synchronize on one note for like five minutes. Uh, <laughs> and then they just stand up with no words and leave. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Cool. We, we, we I look so forward to seeing how you express yourself. Gorge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Oh. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside. Oh. Me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, since we're already here, do you really, do you want ah, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Ah, so that's you and I never loser. walked home together anymore. I'll never catch good Pokemon with someone like you dragging out my coattails. <laughs> because she always stayed after school for clubs. 
Sure, might as well. Yay! Let the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Do you think Gary Oak, after he takes a shower, like puts his like body wash back on the rack and goes smell you later? <laughs> 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 Fucking hot rod. Oh, yeah, I know. Old, he's he's old, right? He, yeah, he's like he's had his fucking hot rod with like a bunch of women in it. It's like where the fuck did this shit come from? Yeah, <laughs> he was paid for by Sylph. Yeah, or something. He was definitely like paying off like fucking Team Rocket for like protection money so he could get all the good Pokemon. <laughs> Wouldn't even be fucking surprised. Sayori, Natsuka, Yuri, and of course Monica. Take care of the hours combined. <laughs> We are Captain Kawaii! Captain Kawaii! He's a hero! Sparkly, twinkle, twinkle, boom, 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 boom. Well, I'd really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Only one of them will get eliminated from the island. 